What is up, you guys? It is Sunday. No, it is Tuesday. It is Spencer. Welcome to FTM Transtastic. I cut my hair off. This week on Transtastic, we are talking about tea growth. Downstairs, dysphoria, bottom dysphoria, tea, dysphoria, growth, dysphoria. Um, I actually am very happy that we're talking about this topic because it has been one of the biggest things um, for me as I'm, I'm now five months on tea. Um, downstairs growth has made me incredibly dysphoric. I have grown quite a bit. I don't know what quite a bit is. I've grown enough to where it's like noticeable. I don't know. It, I've grown. I've grown and I, I, I didn't. I didn't want to grow as much as I have, and I have grown, and I'm continuing to grow, and it's, it's scary. For me, I never had bottom dysphoria really that much. I um, I am fine with my bottom half, and I, I more or less wanted things to just stay the same down there. Unfortunately, you don't get to pick and choose what you want to happen while you're on testosterone. So I have now grown to accept it. Especially since I have, I'm talking to this girl and we've been intimate and she has no problems with it. So, you know, that makes me feel a whole lot better. But I guess my biggest fear of it was having to explain that part to other people. There's not a lot of people that have any type of experience with trans bodies. And I always hate having to be the first one to be their experience because I just don't want it to be something like... Like, I would just die if somebody looked at it and was like, gross. Like, I would, I would literally just never open myself up to the public again. And I just feel like people are going to do that, and I just, I, it scares me. Um, what I like about tea growth is masturbation's a lot of fun. It's, it's more pleasing for me to do, because I like it. It's, it's more, you know the motion that I want to happen. So that that's great. I'm much more sensitive, so that's great. Um, unless you're riding a bike or sitting down or have boxers drop up against it or it's just, it's much more sensitive. But if you're at work and it's much more sensitive, then it's a problem. I definitely think when I pack, I'm like morning all the time. Like packing, I, I hate the shirt. So when I pack, I'm like horny all the time because of how the packer rubs up against it. So that's like a problem if I'm at work. Right now, I riding a bicycle is is pretty much out of the question. I don't know when the sensitivity is supposed to go down. I'm told it's supposed to go down sometime, but five months on tea and it's still there, full force. This is just this has been a conversation that I didn't expect to have with the internet. Other than that, you know, it's been. It's been, now that I'm used to it, I'm, I'm much more comfortable with it, I'm much more comfortable with myself, and I'm much more um, at ease. But before, when it was growing, I didn't expect it to grow as big, as much, as quickly as it did, as much as it did, as, and I didn't expect it to be as sensitive as it is. Because you, you hear that you're gonna grow, and you hear that it happens within the first week, but I just, I don't know, I just wasn't ready for it. I just wasn't ready for it. And now that I've had time to live with it, I am ready for it and I'm happy about it. And it doesn't cause me much dysphoria, but definitely the first the first two or three months I was very dysphoric about it and I didn't and wasn't okay with it. Um so advice on it, I would say, you know, give it a chance. It's gonna it's gonna be different. It definitely is different, but different isn't bad. This is this is just a really awkward conversation. I'm just really I'm just really awkward with awkward things. I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope your weekend was phenomenal. I am no longer on clinicals, thank God, so um, I'm pretty excited about that. But anyways, it's Tuesday, it's Spencer. Until next time.